Where are they now in terms of being a mediator in these negotiations? Commander at the same time he was an Al Jazeera reporter and bureau chief. So I do want to talk about Qatar's involvement in all of this. You have expertise in this area. In previous conversations, you've talked about Qatar's involvement. Before, you've called them the Swiss bankers to the Nazis of the modern age. That's what you've compar compared them to. Where are they now in terms of being a mediator in these negotiations? Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we're still stuck in October 6th when it comes to the Qataris. Uh, they are still harboring Hamas terrorists in Qatar. They still sponsor Hamas. They still defend them. Al Jazeera, which is a Qatari-sponsored uh, news network I'm sure most people are familiar with, is on the ground in Gaza. Their chief uh, journalists, quote unquote, in Gaza have been exposed as terrorist operatives for Hamas. The deputy bureau chief was killed. Al Jazeera screamed bloody murder. Turned out he was a Hamas commander at the same time he was an Al Jazeera reporter and bureau chief. So we have a lot of issues here to take up with the Qataris and we're not doing it because the Qataris still hold this over our heads saying, well, we're the only ones who talk to Hamas. We host Hamas. They're our friends. So you need us in negotiations with the hostages. That has partly shifted. Uh, the Egyptians have stepped up their role in these negotiations. Obviously, as IDF combat operations are coming closer to their border, uh, they have taken a stronger interest in the negotiations and, and been more involved. The Saudis and others are looking to ensure that the Egyptians take a leading role with the Gulf states uh, in the rebuilding of Gaza and that Qatar is not involved. That's actually a condition the Israelis are setting down as well. But we have a lot of accountability uh, that we need from the United States government too for the Qataris. Their involvement in October 7th, their support for Hamas. Will they be forced to shut down offices in Qatar? Will they be forced to turn over the leaders who live there for extradition to the United States? Obviously, there's Americans who died on October 7th. Uh, what will happen to Al Jazeera? Will there be sanctions on Al Jazeera? Prosecution for material support for terrorism? These are the questions we should be asking. Sadly, we're still treating the Qataris like it's October 6th, like they're our friend, they're sitting at the table, and we're going to call them a neutral arbiter in these talks. In our conversation in October, you said if you were in charge, your policy when it comes to Qatar is putting enormous pressure on them instead of what you believed or described as the United States was doing is just thanking them. As we sit here now in March, is the United States putting any type of pressure on Qatar? At the executive branch level, I can't detect any. Uh, from Congress, we have started seeing letters out of the House and Senate uh, threatening that they might move legislation against Qatar. If Qatar doesn't use more influence to get hostages released. Uh, we've seen some bills introduced here and there from rank and file members of Congress to do things like withdraw the status that we've given Qatar as a major non-NATO ally. We are not seeing a real pressure campaign at this point. And so the Qataris do try to improve their PR. Uh, they'll invite uh, hostage families to meet with them. Uh, they'll broker things like uh, we, we saw a deal where the Israelis were going to deliver medicine to the hostages. The Qataris were going to be the guarantor. We've still not to this day ever gotten proof that the medicine arrived with the hostages, even though the Qataris claim so. So but my point is that when the Qataris feel just a little bit of pressure, you do see them try to do things to evade that pressure. They are very, very protective of their image and their PR. If we were to actually have a pressure campaign on the Qataris, I think you'd have major movement uh, within Hamas to uh, deliver uh, some hostages very quickly. Coming closer to their border, uh, they have taken a stronger interest in the negotiation. The chief was killed. Al Jazeera screamed bloody murder. Turned out he was a Hamas the Qataris. Uh, they are still harboring Hamas terrorists in Qatar. They still commander at the same time he was an Al Jazeera reporter and bureau chief. Sponsor Hamas, they still defend them. Al Jazeera, which is a Qatari sponsor. Yeah, I mean, unfortunately, we're still stuck in October 6th when it comes to the So we have a lot of issues here to take up with the Qataris and we're not doing it in this area in previous conversations you've talked about Qatar's involvement before you because the Qataris still hold this over our heads saying well we're the only ones who talk to Hamas we host Hamas they're our friends so you need us in negotiations the Egyptians take a leading role with the Gulf states 
uh, in the rebuilding of Gaza. Up their role in these negotiations, obviously, as IDF combat operations start 